Hey guys, so I kind of want to make this hopefully short-ish video talking about something that I've kind of wanted to talk about for a while. I've just never really known how to go about it. Um, but I just want to cover and the camera's still rolling so I figured now would be the perfect time. Um, the topic that I kind of want to talk about is like body image and all that fun stuff. As some of you guys know, I have a Tumblr. And Tumblr is awesome. I probably love it the most out of all the kind of internet social media websites. I love my followers and everybody on there. It's a really cool place. But I've been getting a lot of messages in my ask box lately, kind of about either one of two things. One being comments about my weight and how I look and things. Or two, people kind of leaving me messages saying, I'm not happy with the way I look, I find it really hard to lose weight, I don't accept how I am sort of thing. Would you have any advice for me? So I kind of wanted to just address those two things. Firstly, I think because I've been posting YouTube videos for like three-ish years now, I've kind of developed thicker skin to the point where if somebody leaves me a hate message or something, I'll either ignore it or reply sarcastically or just laugh at it and that's just how I deal with it. But I know a lot of people aren't like that and they will take it to heart and let them kind of bring them down and that's, that's so sad to me because a lot of the time the people that are sending these kind of messages they have something in them that they aren't dealing with they are not kind of happy with themselves that's why they're taking it out on you they don't know you so how can they judge you so anything that they do say can't be true um, so for you to spend your time listening to it and then letting it kind of eat away at you it's just a complete waste of your time that you could be doing something a lot more constructive so if you have ever been kind of face to face with something like that and just tell yourself, okay, let me step back from the situation. This person doesn't know me, I don't know them. They're saying it because they are unhappy with themselves and I don't need that like in my life. And just delete their message and go have an awesome day. I think if you look at it like that, then you'll kind of, over time, you'll just be kind of immune from letting it affect you and you'll just be a lot happier. The second thing, accepting your body and all those kind of things. I think that just comes with time, honestly. I think everybody's gone through a phase in their life where they've kind of not been happy with it. But, you know, you just have to remind yourself, like, everybody has flaws. Even if it doesn't look like it, they, they do, because we're all human. And perfection isn't real. Like, it's just kind of an idea that everybody's built up. But you can't compare yourself to other people. The minute you stop comparing yourself to other people, the happier you'll be. Like, that is one of my favorite quotes, because it's so true. Like, I know a lot of the time, especially with girls, they'll kind of sit there saying, oh, I don't look like that girl. I wish that I looked like that. But it's 2013. There are thousands of editing softwares out there that, you know, these publishers use on these girls to the point where they don't even look like that in real life. So how is it realistic for you to say, I want to look like that when she doesn't even look like that in real life? Like, it's crazy. So, you know, don't strive to look like somebody else. But if you have something about yourself that you want to change, do it in a healthy way because if you're going to kind of starve yourself or do anything like that, yes you may start to look different but inside you'll just kind of make yourself feel so much worse and if you're not happy inside then it will totally show on the outside so that's just, that's just not good for you and that's not the answer. So just do it in a healthy way and do it for yourself and I think it's all kind of about perspective like even with things like looking at somebody else's lifestyle that you might want one day. If you say, okay, I'm so jealous of that person because they're living the life that I want, that is just such a negative way to look at it. And I think if you kind of swapped it around and just said, okay, this person started here, they worked bloody hard and now they are where they want it to be and they're so happy there. That's just proven to me that it is possible and I can do it as well. That is such a more positive way to look at it and you'll mo motivate yourself more if you look at it that way instead of being kind of jealous about, about it. And you know, everybody has the jealous moments, we're all human, I know I do, but I think you just have to snap yourself out of it and say, okay, that's not getting me any closer to where they are and where I want to be, so I need to motivate myself and do what they did to get there and I can get there too one day. Um, so yeah, I think it's just all about perspective and not comparing yourself to other people. Um, kind of leads me to my next point. Okay, my camera died, 
But um, yeah, that leads me on to my next point. I was on Tumblr the other day, as usual, and somebody had posted a post with loads of pictures of plus size models, and those people were reblogging it and leaving comments that kind of annoyed me. Like somebody was just like, I wish magazines would publish more girls like this instead of the anorexic, a word that I'm not going to say, um, because I would buy it more and things like that. Like, though I agree with that, it would be lovely if there was more of a variety of girls and body types in magazines and billboards and things like that. Like, that would be really, really awesome. Like, there's no need to kind of bring down or criticise the girls that are published and things like that. Like, they still work bloody hard and they're just as beautiful as the plus size one. So, like, there's no need to kind of separate the two so much and be like, oh, this one's better than this one. Like, you know, it's so unfair. Like, yes, it is unfair, but life is unfair. You know, that's just the way that industry is. And saying things like that isn't changing anything. It's just making you kind of create like a double standard and you're just being slightly hypocritical because you're saying this kind of woman is better than this one. That's basically what you're saying the publishers and things are doing with the skinnier girls. So creating such a division between the two isn't helping like blend them together and create more opportunities for everybody. It's just making it kind of worse, I think. Life isn't fair and that's just the way it is. So I think if everybody kind of just had a more positive perspective, things would just be a lot better. But you know, as of now, that industry is just kind of, that's just how it is. And I think being so negative towards it isn't really helping anything. So moral of the story, try to not compare yourself to anybody because there is nobody in the world that is exactly like you. And that is such an awesome thing to embrace. I know so many people don't and they see it as a bad thing, but it's such an awesome thing, like billions of people in the world and none of them are exactly like you. Like that is such a cool thing. Try and look at things with a positive perspective that will make you motivated to kind of be a better person and become the person that you eventually want to be one day because that's just a whole lot more effective than being kind of jealous and bitter and critical of other people. Like that's not getting you any closer to where you want to be. So. There is, there's no point in kind of being like that. And just be a nice person. Like, there are so many mean people in the world. And I think the nicer you are, the better everything will be for everybody. You know, people go on about world peace and stuff, but it's, it's the little things that kind of add up to all the badness in the world, I guess. I don't want to sound like, you know, philosophical or anything, but I just think it's so easy to be nice to somebody instead of spending your time being hateful towards them and making them feel shitty. Like, the time that you spend doing that, you could spend sending them something, like a small message that would put a smile on their face for the first time that day. Like, that would just make me so much happier and I know, like, like if somebody did that to you, you would be really happy, so why would you not want to do that for somebody else? Um, yeah, I don't know, that's just kind of how I look at things. But that's kind of all I have for you guys today. I hope I kind of helped some of you, maybe just a little bit. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Try and do something, like one thing a day, that will make somebody smile. And I guarantee you, you'll be a happier person. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Have an awesome day.